Rainfall. Crop. Tap. Taste. Prompt. Persuade. Support. Resource. Poison. Waste. Breathe. Paragraph, paragraph. Include. Reason. Opinion. One man's gravy is another man's poison. What is pleasing to one person may not be pleasing to another. Elaine, we haven't been out for a while. Why don't we take in the symphony tomorrow night? Charles, you know I've never been able to sit through an entire concert of classical music. How about going to hear that new rock group at Danny's instead? And get my ears blown off? No way. It just goes to show you that one man's gravy is another man's poison. Well, I realize that what pleases one person may not please someone else. But let's compromise. Come to the symphony concert tomorrow night, and on Saturday I'll take you to hear that rock group. Is it a deal? Okay. I'll even get you a set of earplugs so you won't go deaf. The spirit is willing. But the flesh is weak. A person's body is not always as strong as his or her mind. Greetings, Elena. Where have you been keeping yourself lately? Hi, Paula. Actually, I've been working out at the gym and doing aerobic dance. It really shows. What prompted you to go in for all this exercise? I had my yearly checkup, and Doctor Mena told me that I had to lose twenty pounds. So he put you on a diet, right? He sure did, but I couldn't stay with it. I would lose five or six pounds, and then I'd put the weight right back on again. The truth is, I can't keep away from food. I see. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Absolutely right. I want to lose the weight, but I don't have the willpower to ignore those gnawing pangs of hunger. Since I love to eat, I decided to exercise in addition to trying to diet. That way, I can burn off any extra calories. You're obviously succeeding. I've never seen you look better.